Hello guys, this is Caesar Create, and welcome back to my channel! And welcome back to the franchise mode after a long break. Yeah, we had a long break, as I told you guys in my previous videos, I had some... Uh, you know, I was basically busy with my life, so I didn't have time to record my videos and now I am back, I am back to fully recording and I have some more uh, of uh, episodes of the uh, franchise mode coming, so if you are a fan of this series, you can expect more episodes, we are definitely not done with this zoo. Uh, so, it was a while since I have been here uh, and uh, I hope that I remember everything, that you know I know what is going on in all the enclosures. If not, we will check them out and see what is going on inside of them. So, uh, if you watched my last episode uh, where we added the moose to our zoo, you may notice that there are some things that changed and I did that, did that I basically didn't include in my video uh, and I did it them just before uh, starting to record this video just to prep uh, some things for uh, for today so basically as you can see there is a new path going there uh, because I simply wanted to you know see uh, what uh, like how the enclosure that you are will be built today uh, what shape should I should I give it and so on and sh how should it look and we'll basically add it here and also I did some uh, you know shops uh, and uh, restaurants and uh, you know drinks in here uh, because it was quite far uh, from this place so I wanted to make sure that the guests uh, you know, we'll have something to eat uh, in this area. So as you can see, the, this is working. There are lots of them eating. So this is cool. Uh, and yeah, this is how it looks. Uh, this building actually has like a uh, hidden uh, staff room for the guests. Uh, for, no, it's not for the guests, it's from the staff. Uh, so yeah. Uh, the new update and the DLC uh, was actually announced. Uh, like, I think I'm recording this video where the trailer basically dropped for the new DLC, the European pack. And uh, let me just tell you that uh, I wondered if I should wait for the, you know, the counter free uh, shops uh, to build this, but I figure out that we'll have so many of those food holes and food places that it doesn't matter and we'll have it anyway in the future. Uh, so yeah, that's why I did it now. Uh, also, uh, you know, this is an European DLC and the European animals, like those who were announced, they suit to the zoo so much that I am so, so happy because we'll be able to add them all in here basically without any problems like the, uh, the lynx, the ibex, the uh, the deer and so on. They are su such a, you know, and the badger of course, uh, they are perfect for this biome. So yeah, I am super, super excited. So yeah, uh, let me just go on and tell you guys what we are doing today. Uh, we'll basically end our American, North American angulate area. So we'll have the uh, doll sheep. As you can see, there are a lot of babies in here. Basically, all of the females had babies. So yeah, a lot of them. Uh, and so we have the moose and now we'll have the American bison and the pronghorn antelope living in here together. I know that the pronghorn antelope is a shy animal and we probably ha will have some problems with it. That's why I decided to keep this shell, this uh, area bigger so that they could hide and not be too close to the fences basically. Uh, the rest of our uh, enclosures are fine, uh, you know, we have animals in all of them, I think, because I had some issues with the prairie dogs, but I think that uh, they are, yeah, we have some of them, uh, because basically they don't live long and they are dying very fast, so this enclosure was empty, actually, but I was able to fill it in and I will do continue to do it uh, in the future with no worries. So, uh, coming back. 
let me just start building because I don't want this episode to be too long for you guys so you'll be able to enjoy it, uh, to watch it full, uh, you know, without uh, the need of, uh, I don't know, staying the whole night and watching it. Uh, so let me just quickly grab our terrain tools and start uh, building in here, like making sure that everything is looking nice. By the way, I am so excited for the new uh, DLC that is dropping. Like, there are a lot of opinions about it. I actually thought about making my own video with opinions, but I wasn't able to record it on the day that it was announced. And I don't know if, you know, being so late, uh, if everyone would like to, anyone would like to watch it. And it takes quite a lot of work because you have to put some uh, screenshots and the trailer. I never did it. So for me, it will be something new. Uh, and basically, I decided not to do it. But... Uh, I know that there are very different opinions about this DLC. Some people are excited, some people say that it is boring and nothing new. Uh, but me, as a person from Europe, I am basically super, super, super excited because I think that, you know, those are animals I am super familiar with. And besides the animals, there is obviously, uh, the, there will be the uh pieces the building pieces uh and there are 220 250 of them so this is quite a lot uh and uh you know they are in the basically the european style and this is so close from home for me so yeah i'm super super excited because i know the european style very very well so i know that i will be able to build something cool with those pieces i cannot wait to see them all i cannot wait to have it to grab this dlc as soon as it will it will be you know released so uh yeah this is super 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 exciting for me as always Okay, so I am quite happy with how it looks. Uh, so let me add the barriers. Uh, I will do this one as well here. And probably I will add uh, some different ones for some variation. But let me start basically with this one. Oh, no, 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 don't do it, please. How to stop it? Was I... Close, like fast enough yeah probably yes oh my god there's so many of them oh this is basically because i forgot to uh, pause the game while i am building i cannot do both of those things at the same time it is too much for me basically so we have to sell you 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 basically and i think that it will be Fine, if we do so. She's already pregnant, so oh no. Okay, so we'll send you to the trade center. Bye, and we'll continue building in here. This huge enclosure. I hope that this video won't be too long, to be honest, uh, because this is, will be a big one. I also want to add quite a lot of those animals in here, so it looks nice. Okay, we'll do it like that, maybe with this. Okay. And how should I do it? Should I do it here? Yeah, this will be fine, I think. Yeah, it looks nice. So maybe I will also change this one. Okay, and I see thing that here we can leave it open. Yeah, it looks so nice. I love to build big enclosures when I don't care, you know, too much about how detailed they are because building a huge enclosure in, for example, Elm Hill City Zoo it might, is my worst nightmare because I am always not satisfied with the level of details. To be sure, to be honest, uh, so. You know, <laughs> that's why I don't do it often because 
for example, the moose habitats in the Elm Hill City Zoo, it was so, so, so tiring to build. And, you know, there were so many things that I had to add there, so many rocks, so many plants that it took me so much time because I am just... I'm just stupid, <laughs> let me tell you that this, because uh, I should, I, I would be able to do it very fast and uh, not to take, basically do it faster and, but I always need to make all the things, you know, perfect and this is what makes it uh, so, so long. So, uh, maybe let's, I don't know, maybe let's, uh, I will see how it looks. Uh, to add this fence from time to time so the animals won't get, you know, so stressed in here. Maybe I'll also add it here. So now it may, would make sense to add it here. Okay, for me it looks fine. Maybe also those two. Perfect. Yeah, this looks nice. Okay, so what I should do now is probably add uh, the animals to see what they like. But maybe firstly, I will add the stable and how the stable should look. I will probably copy over this thing and I want to have the stable in here. Uh, and I want to make it big, basically. So I like this design, so I will probably copy it over uh, and do it basically like this. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with it. We can have just this one entrance, I think. So we can close it down. I won't bother, to be honest, with making stalls and things like this. I will just add, oh, sorry, I didn't like make my phone silent. I always forget about it when I start to record in the real time, like in the, for example, franchise mode and so on. And my phone always does that. Like I get an email or I get something else and you guys are able to hear it. And I always so embarrassed because I think it's not too professional to do it like this. Okay, okay, okay. I hope that you don't think that I'm lazy <laughs> because I'm using this shelter over and over again, Because, but I think it just looks good in here. And you know, basically they are all, all ungulates, so uh, and they are in the same area of the zoo, so making it next to each other, like adding those shelters next to each other and making them look basically the same kind of makes sense to me because we get this, you know, cohesive back area. Okay, I kind of like it. Now I need to fix the terrain a bit. So it doesn't look stupid. And it allows me to make those videos a bit, you know, a bit short, shorter. So now why not? Of course, I cannot do it when I want to do it. I should probably make the brush bigger and take this down. And now, yeah, it's perfect. So let's quickly do it like that. Yeah, isn't there any terrain in here? No, but I just need to get rid of this grass and it will be fine. Yay, finally. Maybe it's not completely perfect, but we'll cover it with some foliage and so on. So now I need to get rid of probably you. 
or just move you somewhere. Okay, and there's also some rocks that are in here. Okay, and maybe to make it look a bit different and nicer, I will add, for example, uh, like the logs. Log, uh, maybe log, yeah, <laughs> this is it. Uh, or is it called a beam? Yeah, this is called a beam. So I thought about adding this one. Uh, so let's align to the surface and let's do something like this. Okay. So the previous, like the next episodes, uh, there the new pack will be already out so you can expect me adding the new animals in here from the euro pack uh, of course i will add them here uh, and we basically have now quite a lot of money uh, in the franchise so i will probably go uh, right away and not think about you know if the animal is right or not, if we have money or not. So I think about adding the links and then probably I will also add uh, like a cougar, but because we still don't have it next to the links and do like a carnivore area or something. I thought it would be like cool. <laughs> uh, hope you agree. Uh, and yeah, I thought about making something like this now. Uh, so this is quite exciting because I haven't built a carnivore enclosure for a long time in any of my zoos. So this is something new and for me and yeah, this will be fun for sure. And you know, they are huge crowd pleasers. So a lot of people will come to see them. Uh, so yeah, amazing, <laughs> basically. Okay, so let's find a nice uh, bison, a male for example. Of course, I'm looking in the right, wrong place, as always. It's so hard, actually, guys, to talk and do the things at the same time. Uh, if you are getting annoyed with people making mistakes on the screen, <laughs> like while playing and talking at the same time, I recommend it to try it yourself. <laughs> really, this is hard. Uh, so we have 11,000. And they are quite expensive, but I think we can spare some money for that lady. And also, there are no... Are there, like, males who are not so expensive? Okay, this one is also nice. I hope that they are not sisters, because they were from the same zoo. No, so maybe this one because the fertility is high. Okay, so I'll have those three at the beginning just to see the things, how they are looking. And also I need some pronghorns. Pronghorn antelope, which is basically not an antelope. Okay, this one is perfect. And maybe some ladies. Uh, nice ladies for me, please. Pronghorn ladies. Oh, you are nice. And also you are nice. Small, but... I don't care about it too much. Okay, I added the filter. That's why I don't see them. So let me send those also here and we will start to work on their enclosure so let's speed up the time a bit because this episode is probably already too long and we have to you know finish this entire habitat for those new animals and add some branches and things like this okay so the bisons are already here as you can see this enclosure is huge but I kind of wanted it to be huge because I want to add quite a lot of Antos animals. As you can see, we can sell the bisons for 
uh, a lot of cash, so why not have a lot of them? Uh, so when it comes to the, we have we can have fifteen of them, and when it comes to the pronghorns, I think ten, if I'm not wrong, eleven, yeah, almost <laughs> ten females. So let me just quickly check. Uh, okay, we are twenty minutes into the video, so it's still. Quite fine, uh, this is the low warfare and can't reach the habitat. Okay, that's fine, we'll fix it quite like, quickly. Maybe let's wait for more sun so I will be able to see what I'm doing here. Will the sun come, please, to our habitat quickly before the people come here? and see this ugly, empty habitat. Okay, so the sun is going up or down, or I am quite, it's going up, okay. How are we in terms of space? Perfect, they are also fine with the terrain. This is one is missing soil. Okay. Okay, so I will start to terraform a bit. I mean, do the stuff like adding soil to the enclosure. The soil will probably be around, uh, you know, fences because it's always like this. The animals are going around the fence, so uh, the the. The grass basically has hard time here growing. Also, we don't need like long grass everywhere. We can have like patches of short grass in some areas. And of course, we can add some patches of soil from time to time. So it looks more natural. Okay. Okay, I'm still not f f like satisfied with the sun, but I don't want to wait so much. So let me start adding things to this habitat. So the plants are probably from the North Af Africa and we he here have a lot of different things we can add, but this is probably not the case for the a bison, grassland and taiga, and there's also grassland and taiga. Yeah, perfect. But first, maybe let's add uh, the rocks. And let me actually use some of the rocks I did here. It will be faster, basically. Okay, why I cannot copy it? <laughs> why? Always when I have a good idea, something doesn't work. I just wanted to, okay, because we have those different groups of grass. I forgot about it. Okay, so maybe let's do it like this. Yeah, we can do it like this. Perfect. Because I thought that it would look cool. Somewhere, for example, in here. And also, because of it, we'll be able to do it much, much faster. Yes, you know, uh, last time in like previous videos, I did the thing that I skipped a bit. And I know that I asked you guys if it's okay, you know, skipping, but in the end of the day, I am... No, <laughs> this is a franchise mode. You came here to see me build probably <laughs> in the real time. So I don't want it to be like, okay, now I'll do, for example, I don't know, the rock, so I'll skip. Then I will do the plan, so I also skip because it takes a lot of time. Then I will add the restaurant or something, so I'll skip. So I would probably do those, uh, you know, videos a bit shorter, but, you know, more, I'll basically build in the real time. Uh, okay, I like how is it turning out already. <laughs> and we only added some rocks. Then, you know, uh, skipping every time 
I need to do something that takes more time. Uh, so because of that, I will try to make it faster to use the things that I already built and so on to use the blueprints. Uh, but still, I will make sure that, you know, we are doing everything we can to build on the screen, basically. Okay, how is it looking? Better, better, better. Maybe also let me borrow this from you guys. Okay, perfect. Let's add it maybe somewhere here, like that. And also let's copy it over to here. Yay, it looks so good. And I'm doing it so fast. Yeah, I'm a genius sometimes. Okay. And now maybe let's just do it with those rocks, like some of them here. Some of them in here for sure. And where are those smaller ones? Do we have them here? No, I don't think so because I also didn't want to, you know, add too many details. So I wasn't using the ones that are too small. Okay, so let's add some more around those rocks. And also, I want to leave a lot of space from those animals to roam around, so I don't want to make it too, you know, rocky, too busy with rocks, basically. I think that we are missing something here, like higher. Yeah, this is so much better. So let's try to add some rocks in this region okay i love how is it turning out maybe let's do something like here okay I am quite fight, fine with the work, uh, rock work. Maybe also some, you know, rocks. Uh, I will also add some when we'll add more plants. But now let's see uh, basically uh, what plants can we use. They have can have a lot of plants. So maybe let's look. At, let's have a look at the bison. Okay, I won't worry about those ones. I think. Yeah, I like them, so let's leave them. North America, Grassland, and Taiga. And let's go, basically. Let's add those plants. I want to have some, uh, you know, in here just to make also a background for the ostriches because I had to delete that. And now it looks kind of plain in here. So I want to have a lot of, uh, you know, foliage around this area. And we have to be careful because, you know, they have the limits and I hate it, <laughs> of course, as always. But this is a franchise mode and I want those animals to be happy, basically. So we are looking at the limits and we are taking care of that. The willow tree. I don't think it suits, so maybe let's not add it. We need to add more like pines, spruces, and that sort of thing. Okay, we are still fine with the foliage. I'll of course add the African grass, which they don't see for some reason, as not suiting for their habitat. where we are missing like bushes or and stuff maybe around here okay i really really love this like little tree 
So let's add some of them in different places. And the nettles are also fine. Okay. Okay, and what else can we add? This bush is also I very like I like it very much. I don't use it too much, I don't know why, but Probably I should use it more often in my Zeus. Okay. And maybe let's add maybe like two more of those because I really like those trees. Somewhere, for example, in here. And also maybe one more in here to cover those you know, ugly buildings, basically. So maybe I'll also add this one. Okay. So this is basically how the enclosure is looking right now. And now let's add the enrichment items for the animals. So what we have here, the pronghorn, Uh, okay, we need the food troughs and probably one won't be enough. So we'll add two of them. One here and maybe one in somewhere near the shelter. So for example here. And then we need a water pipe for sure. Or more of them, more than one. We add one in here and maybe one in here. Great, and then we need enrichment. So this is funny because it's a pronghorn piñata and you know, when I type in just pronghorn without, uh, you know, adding the tag for the species, it gives me this piñata and imagine adding it to the pronghorn habitat like this piñata, they would be for, for sure confused <laughs> okay i will add also this ball although i think it's super unrealistic i don't know i never seen animals like ungulates with balls inside of their habitats maybe i don't know some but no really i haven't seen them i seen so those you know grab toys for example grab balls yeah so they're quite common in in their habitats because they are using them basically and we have bowls also for them. So this is quite like unexpected. And uh, we don't have things like, for example, salt licks, which is super common for, uh, you know, ungulates because they love to lick the salt. So yeah, this is weird that we don't have things like this and we have the bowls for the, uh, for the pronghorns and for other ungulates. So yeah, just my thoughts about this okay so bison can also use the ball for example <laughs> as i told you but the mud buff and maybe i'll add them like give them a mud buff somewhere here okay fine i won't be hiding it or anything also i can add this thing and i think that they should be happy right now let me just see, yeah, we'll look at the welfare and how about those guys also. And are they able to come inside the shelter? No, they are not because they are so large. So probably I should make it, make the entrance bigger. Really, they are so large they cannot fit in there. Why? Yes, it, it was the fix, so perfectly. Yeah, they are now able to use the entire thing, so I am happy. Okay, I pause the game and okay, let's quickly, you know, add more of those animals. We basically need more females, the pronghorns. They are all bad. Okay, I will add this one. 
I can add this one, maybe this one, and this will be it, I think. Because we'll have uh, three and three, six. Okay, it's fine. We can like save some babies and give them the contraceptives. And then we have three of the bisons and I think I can add more of them. Uh, B bison, American bison, okay, perfect. And of course we have not too many of them and they are all, okay, this is not so bad, but why they are not like, okay, I also buy this one then. And, oh my god, and okay, let's buy this one. Why I cannot do it? Hello? Okay, I only adapted one. Great. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, suddenly there are more. Maybe. Okay. So, was someone like faster or maybe it's because of the game on pause? I was able to buy this one. Okay, and I can buy this one. I need to research them, uh, those animals and they, they will have this like, you know, additional points for breeding and it should be fine. Okay, so now basically, as, as you can see, the habitat is more or less finished. I thought about adding, you know, those patches of the grass in certain places but we have a lot of long grass in here so it's not too like but still I think it's it looks nice so let's add them in some places if you don't know this is just a, this African grass which I you know I added some of them next to each other and just created some blueprints out of them because it's easier to add them basically in those patches. Why are you making those sounds? Maybe you cannot move. Yeah, just as I thought. <laughs> they are able? Yes, they are. So I probably need to delete some of those rocks and how about now yay okay so let's for example add this rock in this patch of green and also let's add this thing somewhere here and here and maybe here and here okay oops and this is basically it when it comes to the closure what is going on here hello don't fight please you are both females why are you fighting okay I've never seen that I think that two females are fighting so this is something new for me. Maybe something, I don't know, they're fighting for dominance or for male or what. So this is really weird. Okay, <laughs> but let's not, you know, think about it too much because we need to finish the episode. So what I will do still is add, uh, you know, trash bins and add things like, for example, benches I always look for them and they are here in the zoo I use those branch ben benches not branches <laughs> uh, so let's add some of them here so our guests don't complain too much uh, we also use those trash bins so let's add them near the benches and we also need for sure the donation boxes. 
I need to finally change the colors of all the donation boxes because I don't like the blue, to be honest. Okay, it should be fine. Mechanic research is done, great. And tickets are underpriced. Another great message. We will be earning more, basically. We have some, yeah, we have a lot of guests in the zoo. They are still underpriced, so maybe let's do it 20 and 17. Okay, and we have to set uh, the, the work zones basically, and also I will add the uh, I will add the education boards and then we'll add, like uh, do the work zones and then I will leave you guys for a second. I will do the things a bit nicer around those habitats uh, and I will show you the finished thing. How we are have the electricity in here probably from the entrance and we still have it here oh there's the like behind the shelters there's this generator so of course we don't have the power anymore in here but i won't bother too much about it okay let's change it to the pronghorn here can be the bison and this is amazing why they are all sticking here you have the whole like enclosure for yourself How about you? You are for sure able to go everywhere, right? Okay. Okay. They are just going in a small little herd. So cute. <laughs> okay. So this is basically it. Okay. Also, I wanted to uh, add basically a new keeper and uh, to do the work zone, new work zone, because we have the moose okay so oh there are a lot of animals in here so i will do one keeper for this zone and it will be the b bison you see all the <laughs> all the prairie dogs die bison and Wrong horn. Okay, I did some stupid mistake, but I won't bother about it. Uh, so, where is this guy that doesn't have any work zone? Here, and I will add it to the bison. I will, like, train him. I will... This was the wrong guy, but okay. Uh, I will trade them all, basically. Uh, and also, what I need... Animal died. We have to call wet, vets. And how many we have of those? Okay, it's not so bad because we had... We had some babies. Okay, I'm not bothering about the foxes because I'm sure that if we add some more appealing animal, like the lynx in the future or the cougar or some other the people won't stop you know won't will stop basically gathering here because this is the most appealing animal in our zoo right now if i am not mistaken yeah that still is so that's why there are a lot of people here but i hope that it will change uh okay is it all about the foxes yes it is but yeah i really like this habitat so uh also I need to create a new work zone here, so I don't know if you guys want to see it, but I will show you it, even though, uh, like, even though this is probably the word, the, the wrong word. Uh, so let's add this four things and this stuff area, and let's call it uh, Taras, for example. I don't know if it's the spelling was right. Maybe it's it was wrong, but okay. 
as you guys know, I am not an English native speaker, as you probably uh, like were able to realize after watching this video. Okay, also this guy goes to Terrace. This guy goes to Terrace. This one. This one. This one. And this one. And they will should be able to work in shifts now. Also, I need to train the ones that have high workloads. Okay, and that should be it. So let me give you guys like, let me basically, what is happening? Okay, they have babies. Okay, so I'll fix some stuff. I will uh, do some nice things around this habitat and I will go back to you uh, in a second to show you the finished results. So see you in a second. So we are back and I was able to do some things around the enclosure and not too much because uh, it is basically very late and I'm a bit sleepy. Uh, but I did, uh, I did this, you know, thing with the plants in here with this is just a work in progress. So it looks nice when you go through here to see the pronghorns and the bisons. Uh, we'll do more of the fencing and some trees in here. And this is basically how uh, our enclosure is looking. I really, 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 really enjoy it. I really think it looks so, so nice. Uh, like a typical, you know, ungulate uh, enclosure in a zoo like this. Of course, it is now raining and it's getting dark uh, when I will try to show you something. But this is ba this basically marks the end of our North American onculate area, which is basically in here. Uh, this is an ostrich, <laughs> which doesn't fit in here, but still I won't move it because I like those guys that they are here by the entrance. And yeah, this is basically it. I will try to wait if it the weather changes or not to show you guys it's you know uh like not so dark and not so moody but uh, we are not able to manipulate the weather in the uh franchise mode unfortunately so i have to leave with it and i don't want to wait like half an hour maybe when i speed up the time a bit nothing changes but, but as you can see, I was able to uh, solve all the issues. Yes, it helped. Yeah, so as you can see, still it's not too perfect, but uh, now you can see better how the enclosure is looking and how our animals are using it, basically. And I think it looks, looks so cool. The pronghorns are keeping a bit, you know, to the back, which is good. Uh, the bisons are amazing as always. I really love the bisons in the game. And yeah, one animal died. And I think that it marks the end of our episode today. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new here to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, please cl click the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, comment down below if you enjoyed the video or if you have any recommendations for our future uh, videos here in franchise mode or, many, or maybe some tips uh, for our franchise. Uh, also, like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, give it a big thumbs up. Ring the bell if you uh, enjoyed the video and if you want to be notified every time I uh, upload a new video. And this is basically it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!